I'm Martin Sepirrafo. I'm from Bariloche, Argentina. I'm 39 years old. I'm a really passionate person for riding bikes. I had the opportunity to live in many other places around the world, but even in a country where we have like some difficulties, I choose to live here. Yeah, Seppi was always a kind of man who was trying to make the sport bigger. He was always helping everybody. I don't know if the cycling in Bariloche is like this without Seppi. For the backcountry segment in Return to Earth, we wanted to get as far away from civilization as possible. Such places are getting harder and harder to find. And to execute a trip on this scale, you really need local knowledge. Seppi dedicated much of his career to organizing races here, promoting his hometown as a biking destination and lobbying his government to support community cycling projects. When I was a really kid, I spent most of the time trying to build BMX trucks around the neighborhood, but the problem was it was so steep that instead of building a BMX truck, we were doing downhill trucks. I live in a place full of mountains, so probably it's a good idea to try with this kind of bike. I got one pink and white bike, I remember the colors. Most of the places that we went at that time were like dirt roads and not, nothing really extreme or difficult to ride. But it was a good beginning. A young Seppi would eventually go on to become one of the fastest mountain bikers in the country. His dedication to training and willingness to travel let him rise in the ranks of the South American mountain bike scene. But like any young person, he wasn't sure about his career yet and still wanted to pursue his other childhood dream of becoming a doctor. So for the next 10 years, Seppi conducted a delicate balancing act of training for mountain bike races while attending medical school in the nation's capital, Buenos Aires. I was blown away to find out that he was also a doctor on top of everything else that he does. He's just kind of a jack of all trades and he's just, he's just busy. He's just really busy making mountain biking better in Bariloche. When I was finishing my medical school, we had a big problem with the National Federation. From one year to the next one, they said that no more downhill races in Argentina. So myself and another few racers, we decided that it won't happen. So we started working to have a national championship. That's where the Open Shimano started. And that's where I decided I will focus a lot on that kind of things because I feel that we had a good opportunity to change how races were done here in Argentina and even South America. Yeah. 12 years later, that was a good decision. Already with his hand in the future of mountain biking in South America, Seppi wanted to give the riding scene in his hometown of Bariloche the best chance to flourish. He had to get the word out so mountain bikers could see it for themselves. The Return to Earth movie was something that I helped to produce here in Bariloche. I got on, I think, an Instagram message. I was so happy and excited when I received that message. And I think that at the end we found a really good place close to Bariloche, but at the same time far from the city. They were in the middle of nowhere. Having a film crew come and showcase the mountains around his home was an opportunity Seppi didn't want to miss. But having Seppi along also made filming Return to Earth such a smoother experience. We came to Patagonia to get off the grid and document the experience of distancing ourselves from constant societal distractions. Deep in the Andes Mountains, all of this was possible while riding our bikes, with Seppi along to make sure we had everything we needed. Being in this setting, you feel super connected and clear in your head. Like, you just, it's easy, it feels natural peaks around here, looking around, we can't even see a single sign of human civilization. Can't see fence lines or roads or highways or anything. It's really cool. They did a really good job, and when I watched the movie for the first time, I was like, wow, it's amazing what they did in that place. <laughs> 